Ooh, goblity. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Why is it the little mermaid? This is the curious case of Harry Potter, and if you're just joining us, we're taking to take this curio cabinet here, also called Barrister's bookcase, and we're gonna move all the Harry Potter prop replicas that I have down there in that big case, which is going away. We're moving them up here, and we're going to be very strategic in what we put up here. So we've got all the things from the Sorcerer's Stone in the first case, and you can watch that video up there, and then we have prison, uh, Chamber of Secrets, and then we have Prisoner of Azkaban, which is pretty skimpy if you ask me. So now, oops, I got left the Basilisk case in here. Now, we've got the fourth one, which is the Goblet of Fire, and I'm pretty excited about this one because I have a ton of stuff from the Goblet of Fire, or at least I think I do. I thought I had some ton of stuff for the Prisoner of Azkaban. So, without further ado, let's go down to the big case and see what we can find. Abby? What are you doing? All right, let's see what we got. Of course, the big one we got is this guy. He is the Hungarian Horntail from the Chair Wizard Tournament. Unfortunately, I'm fairly certain that he is too tall to fit, so I'm gonna have to trim him down. So I'm not gonna move him today because I don't want to break him any more than I already have. There was an accident involving him toppling to the ground before he was in this case. But of course we have the Goblet of Fire here. We've got Riddle's Diary, which I got for a discount because he's missing the hand in his sickle, so we had to fix that. And we have Egg. Oops. Egg. And we have the where's it cup there what else we got um, I guess that's it all right that looks like that's it for the goblet of fire so let's bring it upstairs and see what we got all right that's everything from the goblet of fire besides the dragon there's large things but it's not really very full is it compared to like some of these other ones so We'll have to kind of like think out. And look at this, the Goblet of Fire is like crooked. It's it's actually a voltive candle holder basically. And um, maybe I can use a heat gun and warp it back into place. So we've got a broken riddle grave that somebody kind of phoned in when they painted. A wonky Goblet of Fire. A Triwizard Cup, which I think lights up and the egg from the second challenge and the dog from the apartment. Um, if this is your first video, make sure you check out all the other videos. I ask, I'm asking everybody to kind of think of the top 10 things that they think will make these cases represent each movie and I'll either build or purchase the products to make it all happen, right? And purchase all the products to make it happen. So this is what we have so far in The Curious Case of Harry Potter. We've got movies one through four, all the props that I have moved. And then we've got, next, we've got the um, Order of the Phoenix. So make sure you guys check that out in the next video. We'll see you soon. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it with a friend, hit the bell for reminders, and pet the dog. All right, see you next time. Hey, what about me? God of Gryffindor. Shut up, Jon Snow. You're not God. Hey, give me that back. Hey. Aww.